Hello everyone, this is Zero's Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary pacifist Coral Let's Play. We continue for episode 13 from turn 113 in the winter season of 212. So last time we ended as we tangle with an Unmont. Uh, very tough because I think our unique unit's not very suited to fight the Unmont troops. We might have to switch to the regular uh, Fire Arrow Onyx Dragons. We'll see about that. Meanwhile, we're trying to clean up the small wars uh, in the middle here. Uh, a lot of small factions declaring war against us. We're trying to wipe them out, and hopefully that will free us up to join the Kingdom War uh, at that point. None of the kingdoms are attacking us yet. That might change because you can see Gongsun Zan doesn't really like us. Even though I kind of want to uh, join his kingdom as a vassal to take out Liu Bei first, so that might happen soon. Uh, we'll see how things go. First things first, if we pop in here, we ended with the siege set up here. I think all we have to do is sort of ambush in place, draw them out. This is their last sort of holding. Unfortunately, they have one general left. Um, they're not going to surrender this because this is their capital. Uh, we can't attack them, so it's just a matter of starving them out, I think. They won't be charging out anymore because they lost all their units. Uh, just a bit unfortunate we weren't able to clean this up. Um, that's okay. Meanwhile, we're going to be sending our other army over here. We're trying to defend against Taurin's potential attack. I think over here is play more defensive for a little bit until we figure out where his armies are. Um, hopefully they will be freed up to join them soon. Everything's going to be a little bit slower pace because we can't attack. Uh, we might also do a bit of diplomacy trick uh, in terms of like trading some of the areas. I think we want to make a vassal here in uh, Jiangxia. We don't really want to keep it. So I think we'll make that happen. We did destroy the building, so that was the first step. Uh, it's just a matter of who we're going to send out here. I'm pretty sure we have a lot of choices because we got a lot of kids coming of age and we don't really need to keep all of them. Um, we will probably use Wei Yan and Xu Shu soon. Yeah, this is a kid that came of age. I don't think we need to keep her, so... She's gonna become an administrator and then get her independence. Uh, we can't trade with her yet, I realize that, but that's fine. Not a big problem. I don't want to hold the land. There's no benefit to that. Yeah, she has, she's landlocked, which makes sense, so she can't trade with us. Um, if I can buy Tal Tal's land here and trade it to her, I know, very complicated. But it could be very beneficial for us to secure a trade route here. Wow, that is pricey. Okay, never mind. He doesn't like us anymore. I don't blame him. We did a lot of bad stuff to him. All right, we want to guarantee autonomy. I don't really want to be responsible for her at all. And if there's no trade, there's no trade. We'll give them one food. They're going to need food because their settlement's pretty high level. I want this to be 15, though. I don't really want to give cash. Hmm. Let's do this. I don't want the item. I'm just going to give the grant. Should put us in their favor for the next few turns, at least. Uh, the treacherous definitely doesn't help. Okay, we could get a piece with Huangzhu now. That's interesting. I mean, we're five turns away from wiping him out. And I don't think he can offer me anything. You know, he's down to one piece of land. I could peace out with him, actually, and just move the army across to join the fight against Haren. Certainly, he could still change his mind and come back to attack us in the future, but there's no land around him that he could really launch an attack. Hmm. It frees up these two armies to join the fight much quicker. Five turns of sieging is a long time. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to even give him one food, even though he probably doesn't need it. Oh, he does. Wait, is that not a food producing? 
How are you missing food when you only have food? Anyways, um, we have quite a bit of food, so let's see if we can push this to five points. We can. Uh, let's do this. Liu Bei likes us a bit more. Huangzhou likes us a bit more. Sounds good. We are going to be trespassing, but there's no way to avoid that. Yeah, this is the situation that I'm deciding between. Which kingdom do we jump to? We could also join Yuan Shao, that would be something. Um, we just have to be mindful of one thing, and that is, what if Gong Sun Zan takes Liu Bei's capital, right? If he does that, then we lose, because he gets all three. Does he have 95 pieces of land? I don't think he has 95 pieces of land, though, so I guess we don't lose. But that is something we got to pay attention to. All right, we're going to be marching out of here. I guess we trespass a couple more factions land and we launch our assault against Taurin. It's difficult to walk this way though. There's a bunch of rivers in the middle. Let's do it. They might be going a little bit too fast, but... Um, We'll see if we need to slow them down. So we have three armies coming to fight Taurin, that'd be good. And then also Zebu. We'll probably either wipe them out, trade the land away, or something like that. We don't really want them. Maybe form vassals. Um, I think there's still no land route. Why not as a whole? It's landlocked. Unless we break through here in Pengcheng or something like that. Oh, well, Sapi is our vassal. I wonder if that counts as our land in terms of reaching our capital. Because there is a road... Uh, no, it's through Pengchong, it's not through Huainan. Yeah, so it's probably going to be landlocked. We might use it as trade with Taotao or something to give them the fishing port so they can trade with us. Assuming they don't trade with anyone else before then. But um, we'll see. We did pick up Hedong. <laughs> nice little coup for us. But I don't know what to do with it. It's probably just going to be an income location for us going forward. That's very lucrative, um, but I don't know if we can stretch it out. It's going to come under attack as well. That's the main thing. So if they sail over, they're probably going to attack us through here just because of this mountain. Unless he comes through here, maybe summoning an army here is safer. And we can do the counterattack down here, land, grab the port. Yeah, so I think deployment-wise, we probably want to deploy here. And Wei Yan's been sitting on the bench for too long, so let's grab him. Let's grab the Shu Strategist. And... ooh, who else? I guess it doesn't matter. We have a high level strategist. Let's do Lu Ji. She has a good passive, so the army will have great replenishment rate. That's definitely very helpful. I think we will just go with the basic setup here, since we do have a champion. Wait, he's level 1? Oh dear. Okay, I mean, we'll transition him into Fury of Beihai a bit later. I don't know if we want siege weapons though. We never fight any offensive siege battles. So I think Juggernaut might be all we need. Oh, this looks bad. Let's uh, swap this with the Juggernaut and add... Looks much better. She is level 3, right? So she can pick up more range for us. Okay, there we go. So we have our army in the north. Their main job is probably just defending Hledung, though. Uh, I don't think we're making any moves there anytime soon. Going to clean up these and then maybe target Liu Bei. That's probably the plan. Or maybe we work for Liu Bei. Who knows? All right, we have our little encampment set up just to hold them back. It's working, and we're going to stick to that plan. Over here, we have some threats. We're going to do something very similar. 
We need 50% movement to make sure we can set up an encampment, so something like this. Oh, they round it down. I hate it when they do that. Um, in that case, we... I don't want to get sieged, that's the thing. I guess we could ambush? Alright, we're going to switch up this army setup. Definitely has problems with this fighting the Naman forces. Does he have fire? Yeah, he does have fire arrows, so that does help. We have four, six thousand. Okay, we have money for that. We need more frontline units instead of cavalry. So we can get one more here. Oh, they do have a couple here. Well, that's weird. Okay, so I guess we'll keep the tiger's cub. Yeah, I guess the rest of the army is okay. It's just we need more fire attack, and the tiger kind of wrecked our juggernauts, which was a big issue. Alright, so that's fine. Where else do we have armies? We have armies down here. So Golden is not attacking Liu Bei per se. Who is he at war with? Yuan Tan, Cai Mao, Cao Cao. And what's he doing down here? There's no more enemies. Huh. I mean, we are trading with him. Alright. We are still interested in fighting them that man though. I want to take Zhangkula. Zhangkula is quite nice. Even though these armies might not do so well as we mentioned, I think we're still going to take them as our armies for these fights. We'll get a little bit of heal here. We should be in striking range. Do we have reach? Do we have any sort of... I think we traded away our overseers. No, we have one. Yujin has it, so Yujin actually... Uh, we need to start the siege, so I'm going to take it first. We can also take... There's a book. There's a book. There we go. So now we should be able to reach that next turn, hopefully. I guess, do we care about this little bit of healing? It's only two units. Alright, guarantee that we can start the siege next turn. And they will rush to help afterwards, if any other- we'll protect the siege, essentially. And then we'll move on to the main city, and take the tea, and then probably try to peace out. Fooling actually... I guess we'll keep it, because it does provide decent adjacency, corruption reduction. Alright, we have 5,000 left. Let's take a look at Spy. I don't know if we're going to steal anyone with the Emperor seats. Everyone's just way too happy. So, like, the goal here is to try to get a military job. And then after we get a military job, we try to get an administrator job. And then we flip him. I think that's the best way to do it. Four turns. So you just use that. I guess we can empower trade just so he doesn't overflow next turn. And elsewhere, we have Luo Jun, which is great. Um, maybe, maybe he can go for a administrator job. I don't know. We're trying to turn the administrators. They're not really turning. Miju was returning. Sun Qian. I believe that's their capital. So I don't think we'll be able to steal their land. Yeah, that's all they have. So I don't know what to do with him either. I feel like Lady Mi is kind of out of reach. I mean, we can try. No harm in trying. We just can't see her until these guys come back. Yeah, we need to wait a couple turns just to clear it out. Well, okay, okay. There's people down here. I was like, no one wants to be... Death of a friend. Everyone's friend to Liu Chong, huh? Yeah, I want to see when we get empty slots what's going on, because right now I can't even see if they turn or not. And that's going to be next turn, I guess. 
depending on how fast the guys get back. Well, is I mean, it should be upgraded. We only have 5,000, so I'm going to wait to see if we have any upgrades like these that should go out first. Uh, or we just can't afford them. Yeah, corruption is definitely still something we need to tame. And that should improve our income situation. I guess we can just grab this for now. Of two thousand, can't afford anything here. It's like three thousand for those. Okay, we'll take this. Mostly population. I mean, we're not taxing, so these are just stuff we have to overcome. Next turn is spring, though, so hopefully we pick up something nice from the faction council. I think that's gonna do it for us. Let's continue. Oh, they're coming again. Okay. Um, this time they're fighting the city, bypassing the garrison. Ooh, that is trickier. But this is a decisive victory for delegates. Do I really want to fight elephants and tigers? No, 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 no. We're just going to delegate this. Why would they suicide? We didn't capture anyone. It's a bit unfortunate. I mean, decisive... Oh, they're back. Okay, explain to me why I can't reinforce this fight. Are they night battling? They're night battling. Oh my god, that is tricky. So they did this with two armies. Oh wow, that's tricky. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Huh. I guess I shouldn't have delegated. I should have just used my encampment units to beat that one. This is in the Naman land, so there is no walls for any of these settlements, no matter how high you level them up. Should be a fair amount of interior towers. The main problem is they have generals and we don't. I don't remember if it's a victory. Nope, it's just a capture point. Okay, they can't beat us then. So, whew. no tigers. That's good. We want them to chase us. We want them to chase the fast units. And the other guys need to get out of here. Okay, so they they run out. And I go harass them. And keep them outside for as long as possible. All right, the idea is like we show up, they chase us instead of going in. And then our towers can do more damage to them. And since they're all infantry, except for the generals, not unbreakable, right? Yeah, not unbreakable. So we should be fine. I think the loop is on. And this terrain's actually super easy to loop because we can just... Well, you, you'll see. Okay, they need to see us because we just became invisible. There we go. Because of terrain. As we went down below the hill. So I think instead of dragging them all the way across, we're just going to loop back. It's risky because the general might charge us, but I think we're fine. Oh, we're getting shot. It's okay. We're melee cav. Pretty good against that. We're going to bring them away from our other units. So even if we do loop them around the full town, we want to do it on this side instead of going over there. And yeah, our towers should just be shredding them. This should solve most of our problems. I wish they killed the general first though, because what's going to happen after we kill all the units is that the general will charge me with 94 speed, I have only 75, that's it's going to be a problem. But maybe army loss will kick in and, you know, maybe they will just rout. Oh, there's no towers. Oh, there's a tower here. Oh, that's very, very, very high up. I wonder if I can just kind of disappear from vision for a little bit. 
There we go. And then see how they react when I'm out of vision. Okay, they're still following. What if I go up? They don't see me, right? The height elevation kills vision, which is great. Now they're going to go here and then maybe start checking both doors. I need to reappear in vision a bit later. That's the thing. But like, we're going to let them kind of walk up here for a little bit. Yeah, let kill the generals, kill the generals. Yes, good, good, good. And then we show up behind pretty fast before they go in. That's the key. We have to be back in vision. Yep, okay, they kind of, oh, they saw me because I stepped on it. The AI, these are like <laughs> pressure plate sensors. Like you put units on them, they're like, okay, he's capturing that point, even though we don't own that point. Yeah, so we'll get them to come back. This is a nice loop. I think we'll get them killed pretty soon. I mean, this only works when they don't have tigers. They're the tigers, they just release them and way too fast, way too fast to kind of survive that. Hmm, how do we want to do this? I think we just chill here, let them walk over. We can make the turn around here again. A little risky, but I think we can pull it off. Go to work, go to work. And these rocks are protecting them. There we go. Now we're going. Maybe we can loop them here. This one doesn't hit that much. If we make them stay in this area, especially facing the back to the um, arrows, that way we take away all the shields, any sort of range block chance. The general's about to go down. And then the unit pulley army loss at that point. That general's about to go. There we go. All right, we're going to disappear again. Same strategy. Make them climb this little mountain. Basically, we disappear. They follow the last known place. I guess when we step over here, they will know we're here and they'll come up. And then when we step over there, they're going to turn around and go back. We let them get shot first a little bit. There we go, there we go. And then we want to step over here so they know we're over here. And then we come out. Oh, no. Didn't work. All right, we've got to go fast then. See if we can convince them to come out. They might stay and capture the points. Nope, they see me. Now they have to come downhill. And uh, they should get killed here. I don't think they'll make it down. There we go. She might come back. Nope, nope. I think it's over. Alright, so we win this one. Took us a bit of time, but... Are any of the units unbreakable? No, okay. We're fine. Look at all these bodies. Um, that little turn is a little too tight for the towers to hit them, so I want to pull them out towards this area. So the towers can go to work a little bit quicker. There we go. That should just finish them up. Oh, he bounced back. Why? Why bounce back? Alright, it's over. Army loss kicks in. There we go. We don't actually lose a full unit, so... Whatever damage we took, heal back up at the end of the battle. Maybe we capture someone with a heroic. Yes, no, maybe. Nope. No capture.
Hmm. I'm not sure if we should retreat or not. They smashed us pretty good last fight. I'm not sure we're up for it before we change the archers. Let me retreat. We overstepped too. This is, you know, the army that's going towards Zonkul. Alright, these minor factions. You want to help me against Zebu? Okay, I mean... You can. It's kind of far for you, but... Um, that is good, that is good. Sure. Negative 10 food. <laughs> How is her army's gonna ever replenish? Oh, even Luo Jun's coming back. Okay. Maybe the last, you know, uh, targeting faction. Well, why is it? Why is the game teaching me this again? I thought, hmm, that's weird. Um, anyhow, we want, uh, I don't want, I don't know if I want increased peasantry income at the cost of industry and commerce. That's the one we have the least. I'll go for the set item. Fatiguing the army. Which army is this? I don't think this is Meng Yul's army. That's the one that I really want to take out. Okay, so we have someone low. We can fix that ourselves. Diplomatic attitude, smear emperor contender, reduce their food. Ooh, that is brutal. Um, I'm gonna try to refresh the building one. Instead of Ling Ling, get somewhere nice, please. Uh, that's weird. Okay, let me fix the satisfaction myself first. Or maybe even just kick him, and that way we get a new option out here. Yeah, it's lack of purpose. Recent event carried over, everything compounding. Hmm. I mean, he's level 5 already. We could summon him onto the field. I can give him a title temporarily, just so that we refresh. I mean, not temporarily, but like, give him a title. We can afford that. And that way we maybe get some different options. Oh, we have multiple people feeling a little under the weather. Can we give you something to 30? Do we have any... I think we had a... Yeah, we do have a guard. Alright. Maybe this will give you... Oh. Look, oh, I mean, he just came back. I'm gonna temporarily give you one as well. There we go. Slightly different. Still Ling Ling, though. Come on. Oh my god. Did the Ling Ling administrator pay you? You didn't come on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Ling Ling's not terrible, but uh, where, where is it? It's over to the west here. Yeah, but I don't need extra builds here. Really don't need extra build here. Hmm. All right, what about I, th I think I saw a decimation for target city. Maybe that's what we want. No. Oh, there we go. Wei Xian. That is the capital Nanning, I believe. Or uh, Jianning. If I remember correctly. Five turns, though. I don't think we'll be able to reach Jianning in five turns. <laughs> It would be helpful, but not really right now. Yeah, it's the capital. No, it's not. I lied. It's not Zhangke either, though. Where is it? Wei Xian. Wei Xian.
No, it is the capital of Jinning. Yeah, because we're only looking. We can't even see it. That's the problem. Hmm. Bummer. I was hoping for good ones here. Oh, Shou Chun, Taren. Perfect. That works. Allow for faster sieging rate. Sure. They're the three man group that is going there to siege anyway, so that's good. Um, peasantry, not what we want. We're not going to gain any boost to public order, unfortunately, this time. I think we do. I don't know which army that is, but I guess we do punish them. Menghua reduce their food. Hmm. Maybe we just trash talk the emperor. Let's do it. Yang Xiu? Uh, we don't need him though. Okay, so we are defending here. We're defending here. We're not at war with them, but we are at war with Meng Huo and Mu Lu. They bounced us back with this army. Do we swap to fire archers? Because I think that would be a lot more effective. Well, he doesn't have access to fire archers right now, so I guess he wouldn't switch. But, oh, we don't have... Oh my god, this army's filled with question marks. Okay. So Yu Jin would be the only one who technically could swap. We need to time this advance, so let me just am- oh, actually, let me just encamp here for a turn. And then we'll take a baby step encamping here next turn with this army, and then also with this army, and then we'll siege it together the turn after. That has to be kind of our approach here. Do I really need this defensive- or this army to spy on them? Like, are we gonna launch this attack anytime soon? Like. The problem is, it's unlikely that this would be attacked. I might actually target Liu Bei first and join Gongsun Zan as a vassal. Hmm. See, that means this army is not really being useful and it's actually kind of wasting our cash. We could throw them up there. It'll take them a while to walk there, but doable. No, I think we're just going to actually recall them. I don't think we need this army here. I think I made up my mind. I'm going to probably join Gong Sun Zan first to get a war with Liu Bei. I assume we can keep the capital for ourselves and then turn on him because of that. If that mechanic doesn't work properly, then obviously our strategy is in trouble, but I, I hope it works properly. Alright. Now, Shou Chun is decimated for the next five turns, so... We have extra siege on this army. We're not going to march this. Well, maybe we should. We need to see if there's any enemies first. That's the deciding factor. Yes, we are marching. So slow. Right, they won't march. We'll stay march. We'll be closer in terms of our movements. And then we'll come siege this very soon. Maybe we should... No, we'll wait a turn. We'll let them siege. It speeds it up for us. Because we don't have to do the full siege. They'll come out and attack for sure. It's strange how the military infrastructure didn't get burned down, so I guess they still get the benefit of that. Yeah, definitely a big retinue. Alright, we'll take out Taran first, so that's going on. We have a Hedong army, which I don't know if we should counterattack or not. Or our job is just to be defensive. I guess our job is just to be defensive. We spend our money on spies and building improvements for now. Okay, so we did get a turncoat there. And if I remember correctly, she is an administrator of uh, Intrun, which is their capital, unfortunately. 
the wrong one. If we got the Luoyang one, we could just grab Luoyang. We can still try to get her. I believe there is still mistrust, so we can target the character. Come on, administrator. Nope. Not willing to spy. We can open gates, but we can't attack, so that's kind of pointless. I mean, it's not worth nothing, I guess. She is part of an army. I think she's actually in the army that's... No, not in this one. Wait, is she in the garrison? No, she's not. She's, she's They have another army somewhere. No idea where, though. All right. We are still working our way up towards these. We'll stay the course. And then I guess we'll just spend money on buildings, because there's not much we can do from spies. Wait, is is the 30 targeted on him or Oh no, we already slapped the 30 on him. Maybe. But what about um this right of faction her? Anyone else joining that group of unhappy officers? Nope. 67, everyone's, yeah, everyone's just very happy. That might be Adobe's son, for all I know. All right, she's slightly lower. Okay, that that's a start. Ah, uh, we just have to wait for more points then. Not much we can do. He's dipped quite a bit, but it's not willing to go down. Same thing here. Let's mess with the air. Maybe we get a civil war, even though they only have one territory. So I don't know how that's going to work. We are at war with them, so maybe let's take a look. So they have one army on the field. No good characters. We have the air. Maybe we can finally see assassination at work. Plus 11, please don't be plus too many. Okay, so they have nothing there. We'll work our way to this and see if it works. Um, looks like two turns, two turns. We can see if we can kill Zobu. He's not even on the field, so yeah, this might work actually. They have one army, good intel. And no more spies, so we're good here. Left us with only 7,000 for buildings, unfortunately. Administrator of Nanhai. Okay, we get a nice boost there. Actually, this can wait. Radon has no adjacency. Kind of just out there. Yeah, we don't have any more money. Let's just do this. 22k next turn though, so that should help. Little diplomacy check before we go. Yeah, I don't know when's a good time to hop into a vassal situation right now. I think we still want to finish our war or else, you know, they're going to convince uh, the faction that we are at war with to basically um, peace out with us. We can probably do some confederation, actually. That is something we should look into. So, like, we can probably confederate Shixie, I think. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I, I think we do, actually. We can confederate control if we want.
Lil Dai's former faction. See, that's not possible. That's too negative. But these are just ne less than negative 50. We can all turn those around, I think. Toying? Um, we get Donghai, which I guess we can make into a vassal. I mean, he's already trading with us. That's the thing, right? It's like, why would I need to remove him if he's going to be the same thing afterwards? But Shizia is a little bit different. Shizia we can make into many vassals. And then get many different trade deals. Like Hepu can be a trade partner. Zhaozhi probably can't trade if we make her. Uh, well, depends on who controls the the fishing ports. Maybe we can still trade with him through the land route. You know, going to port to land, and then Zhaozhi can be another vassal. So we can make like three vassals down here instead, instead of having him be Gong Sun Zan's vassal. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Let's make sure the math works out. So if we look at Confederate, the relative military strength. Ooh, it might not work out because it only will go down 40 points. No, it wouldn't. It will go down 35 points. It will be minus 1.14. Okay, maybe it's not going to work out. I think it's like negative 1.4, literally. So maybe wait till our military strength a little bit stronger for that. We don't want to confederate. We don't want to ultimatum again. Like our our treachery situation is just really, really bad. We're not trading with Kongzhou though, right? He owns this little piece of land here. It's a farmland. I can trade it with someone for it, or I can just you know, it's part of Huainan, which we're gonna have full control of very soon. Yeah, let's see. Let's see the math math there. Your vassal of Yuan Shao. Yeah, this one's gonna work out. We get extra food. Yeah, why not? Why not? Twenty eight. So we just gotta make him like us first. Make regular payments. He's a small faction. I'm assuming. Oh my god, that's so sad. 550 is 15 points. Guy's been through a lot. He's a great character to be a vassal. We'll send him out again. Although I think it's randomized whenever you create your vassal, so I don't think it, he might get a new one when he becomes vassal again. That is definitely possible. At least we'll get some items from him as well. He should have one army on the field and then all the family characters, so if they have any items equipped, we'll get those. Everything in his inventory will be lost though. Okay, I'm gonna shift it closer to like 250 or something like that. And then we'll still pump him with coins. There we go. Let's do one. This way we're also... I mean, I think we have military access with him, so I don't think we're actually trespassing him, but our armies are moving through his land so we can heal, get supplies, a little bit better. A forward base to take down Cao Ren. Welcome to our faction, to the Trade Federation. Let's see what items you gave us. Okay, nothing great, but we'll take it. And you're probably going to end up being a vassal in the future again. He's 62. Ah, no items there? What about your wife? 
and potentially kids. You're 62, you should have kids. Are you the wife? No, you're Jiang Qiu's wife. Are you single? No, you're not single. Oh, your wife is being grabbed by Yuan Shao. Okay, that's common. So it's a vassal mechanic where the liege grabs the heir. So we didn't get anyone from him. Oh, maybe her. No, that's also Jiang Qiu's wife. Right, that's what we recalled. This is this is Zobu's daughter, I think. So we didn't get anyone from that. Huh, not as many items as I thought. Okay. We definitely don't need you to have units. And I guess we'll just recall them for now. Did you get a grudge? No grudge? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, give us a little vision for this, and then we know we're kind of safe here. Maybe we can march this, just to go a little bit faster. Alright, that should do it. We don't have money. Did anything change here? It's just telling me I have- oh, oh, there is a slight change. Okay, uh, 2,800. Cancel a building, I guess? Not exactly what I want to do, but... Feels like we want the spy first. I wonder why that changed. <gasps> Administrator of Luoyang. Okay. Uh, this is where it gets tricky because we can't defend it even if we get it. Why can't we do it? Wait. Wait, why can't we do it? Is it because there's armies on top of it? Or is it because we just got her this turn? Let me check next turn. Because we can get this, this in one go. That'll be a huge score. Hmm. Okay, maybe we do... We, we move it next turn. Or actually, we can move it this turn. We lose just the mustering rate, and we have some time to kill as well. We might go fight them if we have to get them off the point. Or, or you know, maybe we have to defend it. Maybe we'll kick them out. I don't know if it's that's what's stopping it. I mean, we also have a spy in this army, too. Is that the girl? That is the girl. That is the administrator. Okay, good to know. We could wreck the generals as well. That's also in the army, just to start thinning them out. She's the leader, so she's not going to leave, but we can kick her out. She doesn't need to be here. Can weaken them a little bit. Yes, goodbye, go away. Xunyo... Might as well make him hate them. All right, so she should be gone. I have a spy here. That's the other administrator. Okay, we'll we'll pay attention to what's going on over there. See if we can do anything else. We do need to upgrade these. We just don't have a lot of cash on hand. Spy costs quite a bit. Let's um, continue. I think we're good. Yeah, picking up Loyang this way would be quite nice. Oh, they're moving down. How do they have that movement? I'm on March. How do they have that movement? Oh my god. Okay, we do have to fight them. Messy fight. Yeah, I was pretty sure they didn't have that movement. Well, this will get ugly.
We might try the checkerboard pattern. Because we're just all range. So basically our lines don't collapse at the same time. And we can still do damage. And our generals will try their best. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess the elephant might be just a bit hopeless, but... I think we do it regardless. Make sure we turn that off. Yeah, the settings all reset. I think it's after that update, so everything is kind of out of sync. Okay, so we're gonna do checkerboard. It'll take a little bit of time to set up. But the basic idea is just basically you sacrifice the units in the front. They can't really fit through here, so they're fighting these. Hopefully they fight to the death and uh, your units in the back will continue to fire during this entire period. Maybe three, three wide is probably okay. Maybe four wide is probably better. And you're basically trying to buy your range units as much time as you can, or the majority of your range units as much time as you can to fire. Yeah, four wide is perfect, actually. Uh, can we fight? Yujin can definitely fight. Not sure if we can actually fight. Where are they? Oh, uh, that's bad. It's fog, isn't it? Oh, it's like the worst... The worst situation for us. And they're kind of tilting the other way. I don't know if I have time to switch. I mean, we have wide enough shooting angles that we can still shoot them. But this obviously is bad. No one wants to fight him. I can go reduce people's armor, which doesn't really matter for crossbow units that much. We just want to keep them away from the line for as long as possible. If the tigers chase us, that's be great. Okay, so we want to start having them turn. Ignore our units, please. Those are invisible hidden vipers, I bet. There's no way the AI keeps like a gap in their line like this. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to do... Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna try to do as much as we can with our generals. Oh, he increased our cooldown. That's fine, actually. We can just kind of kite away. Our job is to just kind of harass them. I mean, the generals take damage during this process. It's totally fine. This is a battle that's gonna be lost anyway, so... Whatever aid we can give to our units, we're going to do it. We can distract the elephants, not charge. Distract the fire archers, not fire. Anything. Yeah, the strategy's going down. It's fine. I mean, it's Sma Long. Smiley's brother. I think everyone's at least level 3, if not level 4. If they're level 4, they have resiliency, it's it's totally okay. Uh, the angle is not great for us, but I don't think we have time to change it. Right, we have one elephant chasing us around. Actually, you can go back. Why are we getting chased out? Okay, fight him back a little. And then turn. Yeah, so the line doesn't melt all, you know, at the same time and the back units can get more shots off. That's the whole idea here. We take out that range. I'm not sure how we'll deal with the generals. Or the elephant, to be honest, but um, yeah. 
We're just trying to return as much damage as possible and hope the generals just don't get captured at the end. Which means, you know, not a decisive defeat. Valen defeat would be good. Alright, pop back, pop back. If you can fire, fire at the elephants. Oh, there goes our checkerboard. Is that a rivalry? Oh, Thorn. Oh, someone's going to get healed. Oh, no, army loss. Okay, there goes the army. I'm going to try to win the duel at least. We are using yeah, we're using the same weapon. Stone axe on both sides. 17k, 7 same same situation. He's unbreakable. Doesn't really matter at this point. I don't think we'll route from army loss in the middle of a duel. I think we have better abilities, because we can do this very soon. And he can't. Alright, chunk him, chunk him, chunk him with this little damage. We just gotta use this, basically. Chunk him! Did we miss? We didn't hit him. He has 0% evasion, how did we miss? Uh, that's nonsense. Alright, they're chasing... Yeah, I didn't expect him to beat us, actually. I didn't expect this to miss. Okay, that hit. If we hit the earlier one, I think we got this, but... It's unfortunate. Oh, ah, came so close. Yeah, that miss. Well, Valen defeat is definitely better for the capture rate. I mean, we only care about Yujin, to be honest. Everyone's at least level 4, so it just depends on if they get captured and executed or not, or else they should be all fine. Time out, okay. All these minor factions want a piece of us. So Yujin's still there. The two kingdoms are finally fighting, okay. That's gonna get tricky though, because I don't want- oh, we're starting to get hit with supplies, okay. We don't want Liu Bei to lose his Emperor seat. It looks fine. No one was even captured. Not a big deal. Yeah, marching... I mean, the distance. We don't even have that movement, but they do. It is their land, so I guess we give them that. Anyhow, uh, the Nutman situation has not improved. Uh, let's be fair here. Uh, but the war in the Central Plain area is definitely going better. I think Taurian's probably going to get taken out soon. Uh, the siege will start in two turns. They're still decimated, so that should help us out here in terms of taking down the city. We have three armies, central two armies, plus the, the sieging group. We should be able to wipe them out entirely, and so we'll go down. Uh, we did add a little piece of land to us. I guess the entire Huayna will be under our control very soon. And then it's really... Can we take Luoyang, for example? Would we be able to just grab... Yes, we are. Okay, so we are going to take Luoyang, but they are going to immediately take back the trade port, which is why this army is moving down to secure it afterward. So we'll be able to pick up a nice new commander through spies. He pulled his army down, bringing a spy with him against us. So he's suiciding. That's good news. Uh, we'll be taking his land entirely, I guess. 
guess Wei An's army can grab Hulao Gate and come down to Intran as well. We can confederate them so we can complete Intran and connect to our capital. And um, maybe we'll hold Tongate as one of our defensive positions. But there's two routes over here. So I'm not sure how we will deal with the trade port situation against Domin's faction. They're really weak. So I don't think we care too much about them. Yeah, I think the main things we keep an eye on is Liu Bei, make sure he doesn't lose. Um, I think Zhang Chao joined the war. We have a couple other, yep. Yeah. Oh no, not attitude, but diplomacy. Right, we have to just clean up this group. Um, Cao Cao, you know, hate us as well. So I don't know how we're going to deal with him. We might have to fight him. But if we are done with the small factions and we're in a war with big factions, I think we just join one of the kingdoms and have them mediate for us. And we'll decide what to do after that. But for now, um, we need to turn this around. We need to fix the Naman situation. Better units probably will do it. We need to fix our economy, more corruption reduction, and uh, continue from here. So until then, bye!